Hey everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're going to have a look at NEO. I already made two videos about this stock, but today I'm going to look at some price predictions. Then we're also going to talk about if the new ET5 model will make people cancel their reservations for the ET7 model. But before we start this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also remember to like the video if you'd like me to make more NEO content. So yesterday I was talking about this stock gapping up to $32 due to the news we had on the NEO day about the ET5 model and the specs and the battery packages and so on. But as you can see here, I have tried to plot in what I think the stock is going to do so i think we'll gap up to this 32 dollar mark then test the 34 dollar mark and then down to test this new support area we have here at 32 and then slowly below way up and break out of this 34 dollar resistance and then uh, continue up to this higher resistance line we have up here but as you can see here if we zoom out a little bit we have this huge downtrend channel we have here we have been in this since the start of 2021. We had a huge amount of bad news for Chinese stocks. Not actually that many news related to NEO. It was just more because of the tension between the US and China and also the growth stocks being hit really hard uh, due to an uncertainty in the market. But as you can see here last year when we had the NEO day, we had this 50% run up. This year we went down 35% instead of running up to the NEO day. But actually we got some really good news. I talked about this in my video from yesterday, so remember to check that out. So that's what I think is going to happen. And I think that NEO will have an amazing a year in 2022 and i could easily see this stock trading up to 60 dollars again when we get some more news about the production capacity and also the tension between the us and china fades away but as you can see here wall street has a price target on this stock of 60 dollars so that's pretty much just like what i said about the 60 dollars in 2022 i could easily see this happening and also as you can see wall street is also banking on this happening so the highest price tag we have is 87 dollars i think this is a little bit optimistic but still easily could happen and i'm gonna show you why in a second and the lowest we have is 45 dollars so currently we're actually trading 50 percent lower than the lowest price target set by wall street so if you go in here and check this out we can see that neo is looking to raise its annual vehicle production to 600,000 cars in late 2022 or early 2023. So that's huge. Right now, NEO is only producing around 100,000 cars in 2021. If they can increase that 600% in just a year, that's incredible. That's some huge growth we're in for. And if we're actually going to see a production capacity of 600,000 cars being produced, I easily could think them selling also 600,000 cars now when they're expanding to more and more countries other than just China. And the new flagship model, EC7, and the the new ET5 is definitely going to make it way way easier for NEO to get into these new markets and beating out Tesla. And for me personally, I would definitely choose a NEO ET5 car instead of the Tesla Model 3. I actually think the new ET5 car looks way way better than the Tesla 3 model. I would bet that there's a lot of people thinking the same. But let's talk about the ET5 model, if it's going to make people cancel the ET7 reservations. So in my last video, I got this comment from this guy with a Tesla profile picture. That's kind of funny. But he asked me if I thought that the ET5 car would make people cancel their reservations for the ET7 models. And, and also he said to me that the ET7 sales is going to plummet in the near future and the two models are too similar. I easily could imagine that, that some people might cancel their reservations for the ET7 car and go for the ET5 car instead. It's basically the same car, but you have this, you know, it's much more prestige, uh, this ET7 model. It's, it's a little bit better looking. It has some different features, almost the same features though, but it looks just a little nicer. So I thought to myself, isn't this the same as buying the iPhone Pro instead of just buying the iPhone? And yes, I, actually, I think this is the case here. I think that people buying the ET7 car just want to be more prestigeful. And because they actually have the money, so why not just buy the more expensive car? And as you can see here, the car looks almost the same. It looks a little nicer, the new ET7 car, than the ET5 model. But as I said before, the ET7 car is for the people who have the money to buy it. So in my opinion, still, if a lot of people is going to cancel their reservations for the ET7 car, they're still going to buy an ET5 car. And I could easily imagine the gross margins being about the same. So it wouldn't hurt Neo that much. So that's my thought on this case. So in total, I don't think this would hurt Neo a single bit. I think it's actually good to give the consumers the opportunity, just like Apple is doing, by having two different products with two major price differences and then people can choose for themselves so i don't see this as a bad thing and that's everything for this video so i hope you liked it please make sure to subscribe and also like this video bye